Alrighty, so today, what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox a uh, Black Friday DeWalt sale that my good friend Jack got me and uh, he got it for the channel. I thank you so much, Jack, for doing this. You're, you're seriously a good friend. And I, I owe Jack big time. So today what we're, we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox the Black Friday uh, FlexVolt sale. This is $400. What you get is you get the brushless uh, hammer drill, brushless quarter inch hex impact driver, and then you get two free tools with that because this one comes with a six amp hour bat, uh, six amp hour flex battery, and a uh, two amp hour slim battery with a fast charger. And they, uh, like I said, it comes with two free tools, and the tools that I chose were the circular saw and the three eighths inch impact. So we are going to unbox these and go over exactly what you get inside. And uh, and yeah, I got these tools because during all winter, as you can see my breath, it's getting cold in here. I'm on our propane. I have to get propane in a couple days because I have to go to work pretty soon. So we are going to unbox this and see what's inside. So let's take a look. First, we are going to unbox the, uh, the hammer drill and impact, the, the kit. And let's see what it comes. In, let's, let's see what comes inside. Now, I don't think that this comes with a hard case. I think this comes with a, uh, with maybe a bag. But we will see. Now, I already did test videos on the uh, the brushless hammer drill. I'll put the link for that in the description below. All right, it it, it does come in a bag, and that's it. The box is empty after that. Alrighty, so the first thing you will see is you'll see the hammer drill uh, extension handle. Relax, Jack. I'm filming it right now. Alright, so the next thing you'll see is you'll see the fast charger, which the uh, this it actually looks it actually looks pretty cool. It does have light indicators on the process of your charger or if your battery is defaulted. And so, and if also it tells you if your temperature of the battery is too hot or it's too cold, which is actually a good thing. So yes. All right, of course it comes with instructions. And I'm pretty sure the warranty is in there as well. All right, so then we get the batteries. Two amp hour battery and six amp, uh, uh, six amp hour battery. Or they display this 60 volt right here. If you obviously, if you just do the math, this 60 volt is equals out to three amp hours. You either have 20 volts at six amp hours, or 60 volt at three amp hours. That's just a marketing thing. You know, it's it's it doesn't really mean anything because that's just math. Oh, and just, I just want to let you guys know that the 20 all 18 volt batteries are 20 volts. All right, so, but uh, DeWalt is the only one that markets their battery without a load. And so this 20 volt is, it's actually 18 volt. Because uh, it's uh, like, it's just, it's just a marketing thing. Once you use the tool, it goes to 18 volts. All right, so we have the impact, which this thing is nice. It's, it's nice and compact. These batteries have a charge. Let's find out. Charge enough. Uh, three LED lights. Uh, looks like at a d different angles, it goes to a like a, a green or a yellow, so you don't blind people. Then straight ahead, it goes. See, I like that feature, so you don't blind people. I like that. Dewalt has their uh, battery indicator, uh, battery life on the battery, so you know what your battery life is without having to connect it to the tool. And of course it has three setting. Setting one uh, has a screw symbol on it. Which no matter what, if you use a screw, this thing is gonna be loud once that uh, anvil starts hitting the, the rod. So yeah, so that's why I know, like for screws, for decent screws, uh, small screws, you use a drill because it's more precise and it's quieter. 
So, but yeah, that's that's that. Uh, the grip feels good. Brushless motor, of course. We are gonna test these out in the future. At speed three, speed speed two, speed one. But there you go. I like that light feature to where it changes it changes the the color because it's not you're not looking straight ahead of it, so you don't blind people. All right, so the the last in the bag is the hammer drill. It does come with a belt, uh, oh, two belt clips, one for the for the impact and one for the hammer drill. And there you go. Sorry, the clutch is 100% plastic. The chuck is a good, decent metal. It's a, it is a heavy duty metal. And the this piece right in front of the truck is metal as well. The housing for uh, where the XR is, I do not know exactly what the mid-range area, but the rest of it's plastic, and which that's all right. Everything's made out of plastic now. It says like no company makes pure metal tools anymore. They only did that back in the day. All right, so let's connect that. That's speed one. Speed two. Speed three. I, I like that I got this battery because I, I have I I ordered something in the mail to where uh, where I get to majorly use this for videos. So I got a surprise coming for that. I love that uh, Dewalt gives this battery uh, a protector, and so you just uh, slide that in to take it out. You just slide it off like that. So it's nice to have something to cover up your your ports for while you're traveling. All right, so the memory card glitched on me for a second. So the you get instructions. So it does come with a 16 uh, toothed, six and a half inch blade. Which, when it comes to using uh, the blades that tools come with, I usually don't. I usually grab. I want to get Diablo blades because uh, Diablo, your cable, uh, you could get more teeth, which makes a smoother and an unchipped cut. So uh, 16 uh, teeth isn't enough for a smooth cut without chipping the edge. And so uh, I pulled this out already, but I, like I said, the memory card glitched out. After that, you just get the tool. Now, when it comes to the tool, you put the battery in the back and on the Ryobi, you put it on the side. And so uh, I'm not sure if having like a six uh, amp hour battery flex battery on the back is going to create a bad weight displacement to where you'll have too much weight at right here. Uh, we're going to find that out. The unlock switch is actually in a good spot. Oh, I'm assuming that this comes with an Allen key. So does that go? All right, yes. There we go, that's that. Put that sewing blade, this, yeah. This is not a washer, throw this away. Garbage. You push this down to lock the blade in place. Very simple. There we go. Give it one more tiny go. And then there we go, it is now locked in place. All right, so that is on there. Let's see on how, yeah, that feels long. That feels really long. Let's see. I like the blade stops immediately. Immediately. Let's see, can we see sparks? I like that though. We are gonna test this out in the in the future. We are actually gonna go against I don't know, but we'll see. See like I said, the batteries on the side of the Ryobi, the weight displacement, it feels balanced. As you can see, I'm holding it like this and it's actually balanced. So if I hold it the same way with the DeWalt, 
it is the battery just just drops it down so we are going to unbox the 3 8 inch impact let's see what this uh has in store i'm actually i'm curious what this looks like in my hand and on the size all right so it comes with instructions it goes in the, into the instruction bag i feel something in there something's loose Oh, yep, it comes with a uh, comes with a belt clip, which that will go on. And then there we go. I think this actually looks exactly like the other impact, but it has a different anvil. Let's do a side by side comparison. Alrighty, there is a difference between the two. This is the quarter inch hex. The three eighths has a glossy finish on the. Uh, the casing right here which it's a uh, uh, feels like it's aluminum and this one just has like a galvanized finish the quarter inch hex has a three-speed uh, uh, switch when the three-eighths inch does not this is pretty much just a very vari variable speed trigger these two to the test later on uh, see if there is a difference in power but let's put a uh, battery on there that's uh, the same thing with the LEDs. If you turn it, it turns, uh, you see it different so it doesn't blind people. That's actually, in, that's ingenious design. I like that. All right, let's put this, put the battery on this. That's speed one. I think there's, I think there is a major power difference. Oh, only one way to find out, we are going to do a versus video between these two in the near future. Like I said, plenty of versus videos coming up. Plenty of versus videos. So this has been this is worth the purchase. The DeWalt Black Friday sale is a good one. Same thing with Rigid is good. Makita is good. At Milwaukee, I'm a little uh, uh, skeptic on that because the free tools you get aren't really free tools. They're, they have a couple of tools there, uh, but for the Milwaukee, they mainly are selling like lights, vacuums, radios, you know. But like the the, the actual tool itself, they ha I think they have just a couple of them compared to the entire variety of Milwaukee stuff you get to have, and compare that to the other brands giving away like mainly tools for their free giveaway and batteries. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing of these two. The, uh, it is uh, this is uh, totally worth it, and I once again thank my good friend Jack for getting these for me. Uh, I can't wait to start using these in the, uh, in these videos. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.